So after you import your products from a CSV, they should all have a name, a SKU, and a barcode, and they'll be in the active products list. But what happens when you add a new item to your shopping cart and it comes in in its first order in Groove Packer and it's seen for the first time? Well, the orders containing those items are put in the on hold list, but they can still be scanned. So let's see what happens when you scan one of those orders. The order number is scanned in and it tells you it tells you about which items need to have their statuses changed or need to be updated. So in this case, the only item that was either new or inactive is this organic shampoo. So we click on it and we can see that it requires a barcode to be scannable. So if we happen to have one there, which is usually the case when you're packing, you click here to add a barcode and you scan in the barcode. It's entered and then that item goes to active. Now when we close this dialog, it prompts us to pack the items in that order because everything's ready to go. You might choose not to allow your packers to edit items. It's really just based on your own workflow. If you'd like to have another person edit products and set things up, you can do so from the products list. Go to products and then click on new to see a list of the items that require attention. So here we see the comb and we can right click and scan the barcode just the same. That automatically moves it from the new products to the inactive products. And it sets the orders that we're containing it from on hold to awaiting, showing that they're all ready to be scanned. They don't need anything else. The other product status that's available is inactive. Inactive products are ones that you're probably going to remove eventually. Uh, but you would like to hold orders or call attention to orders that have these items in them. You cannot delete products from the regular products list, but from the inactive products list you can delete them. You just select the ones that you'd, act, you'd like to delete permanently and click delete. If an order has an inactive item, just like for a new item, the order is placed on hold. A service issue is used to temporarily hold an order that you do not want to accidentally ship. You can require confirmation in order to change that order back to awaiting um, if you like. Cancelled is for orders that are permanently cancelled and scanned is where orders go after scanning has been completed. They'll all sit in that scanned list uh, so that you can go back and reference them later if you need to. And that's pretty much it for order and product statuses.